I wanted to show you how bad autopilot performs on poorly lined local roads. It should discourage you from using autopilot in these situations. So I'm on a um, local road that's relatively windy. I'm going to set it for the speed limit of 35 and let's see how autopilot does on a road that's not very well lined, only one center line, no right line, and uh, the road has a lot of curves. Unfortunately, I'm uh, behind a school bus. Well, maybe not unfortunately. Uh, the school bus is going on the slower side, which is probably making this work a little better. Whoa, it overshot that turn pretty bad. Uh, it was maybe a foot, either I was on the line or a foot over the line with a car coming the other way. And uh, it is, it's doing sort of okay, but not ideal here. Not an ideal situation. We've got some more curves coming up. Um, got my hands close to the wheel. Uh, it just slowed down for some reason. Uh, must have read and it's not doing too good. Must have slowed down for the. Um, it's got the speed limit at 15, so it read a 15 mile speed limit sign somewhere. And so it's only allowing me to do 20 here. Was pretty strange. Must have uh, gone to 15 for those curves. Uh, I am got in an autopilot and I'm pressing the power pedal just to go a little faster because I got somebody behind me. Now comes 35. It's a little on the right side there. Just went to 35 and I've got a uh, turn coming up. So I'm back on uh, this local road again behind a school bus and uh, we're seeing how it does on this local road here's a turn took that turn a lot better uh, perhaps because of the, the two lines and uh, we're slowing down it's doing sort of okay it's really not meant for this type of road. I've got a stop sign coming up. It's going to stop the stop sign because the bus stopped. I'm going to have to hit the brake and then pedal. So I have it in autopilot behind a bus and let's see how it does here following this bus over some train tracks and it was going to just go into the side of the road there <laughs> so I had to take over. Uh, there's no surprise I can even put it. I can put it back onto autopilot. There's no lines in the road. Looks like it's driving by the car in front of us. So let's see what it does here because that bus is turning and it just tried to turn into there and it got confused. Hit the brake. So now it doesn't let me put it on autopilot. Probably, I bet you back uh, a little while back, it allowed autopilot because there was a car in front of me. Now there's no car in front of me, so it's not allowing me to put the autopilot on. Here's another weird situation. We've got a road with uh, cars coming, and God, that was close. No lines in the road. Here's an interesting situation. Uh, I've got uh, you know, an autopilot. Looks like we have to go around a truck. I'm curious if it will follow this. Nope, it looked like it was going to go right into that truck. <laughs> uh, it looked like it was slowing down, but uh, I uh, took over. Just got a little scared. It was aiming right for the truck did start following the car uh, around, or the truck that's in front of me, around the big truck, but uh, then it stopped. Um, 
now I'm just on a local road, got a stop sign coming up. It's slowing down only because of that truck in front of me. I'm going to hit the brake to come to the full stop and then start up again. You have to wait till you get over 20 miles. Uh, actually, this is interesting. I got lines in the road, oh, but there it goes. So it wouldn't allow me to do autopilot there for a few seconds until maybe it pick, either picked up <clears throat> the lines. Uh, now it's got uh, autopilot going. Uh, it's a local road, pretty bad local road, but uh, it's hanging in there. I got my hands closed to take over. Um, this is better than the previous road I was on. Uh, here we've got a situation where cars are trying to stay away from that mail, mail truck, and I don't think I would have uh, <coughs> veered to the right if a car came. And we've got a stoplight coming up. Uh, it'll slow down by itself probably. Sometimes it takes a little while to pick up the cars in front of you. There it goes. Just pick them up. And now it's slowing. I'm going to be making a right, but I can't do that little shuffle there. Well, that was my uh, little demo of a local road where you should not use Autobot. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. You can check out my other Tesla videos in the upper right here. And uh, here's a shout out to my son's channel, The Nerd Writer. Did a very nice uh, video this on David Fincher. It was trending number one on YouTube this morning. Please don't forget to subscribe.